Ukrainian guerrillas are fighting Putin on his own turf. An underground network of saboteurs is targeting Russian infrastructure in Crimea and beyond. The Times reports, it is noted that Ukraine's armed forces have already begun to isolate the peninsula, striking the bridge twice, destroying all three train ferries, destroying the Black Sea fleet and striking Crimean air bases. Putin's railway, which he announced in March could thwart Kyiv's plans to make the peninsula uninhabitable for Russians. New sections of track are being built to connect existing railways from Melitopol and Berdyansk. When completed, the railway will stretch more than 500 kilometers from the city of Shakti in Russia's Rostov region to Zankoy in Crimea with hundreds of kilometers of connecting tracks. Ukrainian guerrillas say they won't let that happen without a fight. A few months ago, young people became part of Atesh, an underground resistance movement that has fought Putin in occupied territory and abroad. Its members are motivated partly by hatred of the Kremlin, partly by offers of cash from their Ukrainian handlers. These scumbags have already killed my classmates and friends. In my area, everyone who returned from the war is either crippled or alcoholic, said one of the partisans. They sent me instructions on how to make an incendiary mixture. They sent me a point on the map in which box and which railway. I was scared, of course. We are all afraid of being caught by the FSB, he said. Atesh is strongest in Crimea itself, one of the group's coordinators said, but extends as far as Yekaterinburg, 1,000 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. The coordinator has been involved in some of the group's most daring raids, including the bombing of the United Russia Party headquarters in Nova Kakovka last summer and the murder of a local party secretary ahead of sham elections in occupied parts of four Ukrainian regions claimed by Putin. The group burned a series of relay boxes, usually the softest targets, but last year also blew up sections of highway in Rostov and Kherson. In Yekaterinburg, the guerrillas destroyed a railway used to transport North Korean artillery ammunition. They say the agents can also guide Ukrainian airstrikes on high-value targets. The July 26 ATA CMS strike on the Saki Air Base was based on information they provided. The missiles destroyed an ammunition depot, a radar station and an S-400 air defense system. The group's activities led to them being mercilessly hunted by the FSB, which turned entire villages inside out in search of the partisans. Since the last attack, Russian police of the occupied administration and the FSB have been checking all the villages around Skadovsk. They have entered almost every house, interrogated villagers and checked their phones for cooperation with the partisans. Some of the villagers have disappeared altogether, the movement's coordinator said. Strong fire has occurred in an industrial area in northern Dublin. The National Police Force, Garda, reported that fire is located at an industrial premise in the Clonshaw area of Dublin 17. Dublin Fire Brigade currently have primacy at the scene. Gardai are assisting with traffic management at this time, a Garda statement said. Five fire engines, including a turntable ladder, are at the scene, Dublin Fire Brigade stated. Dublin Fire Brigade has advised local residents to close their windows and doors as a precaution if they can smell smoke. Footage from the area shows large plume of smoke from quite a distance away in Dublin city centre. The nearby airport has not been affected by the smoke blowing towards it.